Hello there guys and welcome to your Linux tutorial. In this Linux tutorial we are going to talk about threads, okay? And basically we are going to talk about what threads are because I think a lot of people don't really kind of understand what threads are and there's a lot of these terms such as multi-threaded and then people really don't know what's going on and I'd like to clarify some things. Okay, so what is a thread? A thread is a sequence of commands that can be executed. A process always has at least one thread, but it can have multiple threads. So basically, if I have some process and let's visualize it like this, it can have one thread. Now, we usually denoted threads like this in our operating systems course. So basically, this is a process. Okay, this entire box is a process. Uh, okay, and this thing right here is a thread. Okay, this is a thread. Now, a process can actually have multiple threads. Okay, so it can have, for example, four threads, or it can have three threads. It can have an arbitrary number of threads. And again, a thread is just a sequence of commands that can be executed. And now you may wonder, okay, what's the difference between this process right here and this process right here? Because, you know, this one has one thread, this one has four threads. Well, that's a fair question. And let's actually imagine a scenario where I am, for example, multiplying a matrix. Okay, so I have two matrices, let's say one right here and one right here. And so, for example, what this program would do, it, it only has one thread, it would literally have to multiply, and if I recall correctly, this row by this column, this row by this column, etc. right? So they, it would sequentially have to go over all of these and multiply and add up the numbers, okay? While if I have actually four threads, like in this program right here, what I could do is I could, for example, divide the matrix, and this is just, again, for, for illustrative purposes, I could divide the matrix in like these four quadrants right here, okay? So I divide the, the matrix in four quadrants, like so, for example, for this one, and then this right here, and right here, and right here, and each thread is actually just, for example, this first thread is calculating the multiplication of this part, end of this part. The second thread is calculating the multiplication of this part and this part, okay? And basically, by doing that, we can actually accelerate our program. But our program is accelerated in so far as we have multiple processor processors in our uh, physical computer. So basically, if you have multiple processors or if you have multiple processor cores, okay? So again, the idea is that if you only have one thread, it's executed on only single one processor. And so even if you have four cores, if the program is single threaded, it's really not going to help you, okay? Because if, if the program is written as a single threaded program, basically it's just going to go over things sequentially. And so multiple cores aren't really gonna help you there. However, multiple cores will definitely help you if there are multiple threads in your program, okay? Because then if you have multiple threads, then you can actually um, uh, execute each thread on its own separate processor core, or if you have multiple processors, you can actually execute uh, different process, different processes, uh, different threads on different uh, uh, processors, okay? And uh, so that's just kind of a, a thing which I want to clear up because I think a lot of people think like, oh, I need eight cores or I need 16. I don't even know if there are 16 cores, but I think eight or four. I need a quad core or an octa core computer, a processor. Well, if the program is single threaded, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. Okay. But if the program is multi-threaded and then yes, for that particular program, it is going to make a difference. All right. And I also wanted to mention 
that uh, in regard to threads, that dealing with threads is very hard, okay? So basically from a programming perspective, you can have a lot of stuff go wrong. For example, if you have multiple threads, for example, here, uh, like in this example, we have four threads and let's say that all of them are writing some result uh, in this memory location. So what can happen is, for example, this thread can write this result first, then this thread can overwrite its result and that's a very bad thing, right? Or for example, this thread can start writing its uh, its result. And we, basically what happens is that it writes half of the result and then the ad, in just as it has written its half, this thread starts writing and then we have some jumble uh, in this memory location, okay? So basically dealing with threads and synchronizing them and making sure that they don't overwrite each other is is really difficult is really difficult okay and uh, i also just want to mention before we end that if you have one processor core if you only have one processor core and you're like hey miss Lava, that's all great but I, I only have one processor core and everything seems to be working great i have multiple programs open I mean, programs are uh, processes, but you're, uh, you're like, basically, you know, I have multiple processes, which we visualize as boxes, and they seem to be working flawlessly, right? I can, for example, switch from Zilla Firefox to my Word, and then I can switch from Word to uh, Google Chrome, and it all seems to be working really, really good. Well, in that case, what is actually happening is that you have an illusion of multitasking. Your processor is just switching between programs very fast, and you don't even notice that switch, but again, it is just an illusion of parallel execution. In order for you to really execute things in parallel, you need to have multiple processor cores or multiple processors, you know, in terms of like multiple CPUs and uh, servers, uh, basically, which are used for, for example, website hosting or other powerful computers have, uh, do have indeed multiple uh, processors, okay? So this has been it. I hope you learned something useful. I hope that you will recommend this tutorial to other people as well and I hope you'll subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Talk soon, people.